my joy to welcome all of you uh, to worship this morning, a special uh, word of greeting to any of you who are guests today. We're especially glad that you are here with us today. It's a special Sunday in the life of the church. It's the day we remember Jesus' baptism and renew our own baptisms. So uh, that's the, the reason for uh, the, uh, the nature scene here in the middle of the sanctuary. Uh, but we will uh, later in the service be renewing our baptisms, and I will say a word about that in a moment. If you are new to this church, I want to extend a welcome and invitation to you to join us at our upcoming welcome lunch, which is coming up on uh, January 21st, uh, following the second service. If you'd like more information on that, you can note that on your connection card. And speaking of which, if you would all register your attendance at this time on that connection card, and we'll collect those later in the service. There are a couple of announcements. First of all, Greg, tell us what's coming up this week in adult education. Um, our normal Tuesday night routine resumes in the new year this coming Tuesday with Vespers at 5.30, and I would invite you to come and join us for it, that time of worship. And then immediately after, in 101, we begin a book study, making sense, or reading the Bible again for the um, first time, Marcus Borg's book, and we'll discuss that in room 101. You would need to Tuesday and read the first part of it in your um, announcements this morning it tells you exactly how much to read. It's an enlightening book and so we should have a good discussion. I invite you to come and join us. Thank you. Uh, Kathy, please, uh, an invitation. Good morning. I'm here today to tell you about a really fantastic opportunity for a fundraiser here at our church on Saturday, January 27th. The women from um, Nuenta Crasa will be preparing and serving for you a spaghetti dinner. And in case you're not aware, the uh, Nuenta Crasa is a home for uh, women ex-offenders. And it was um, founded 45 years ago by women of the United Methodist Church. Uh, before we had UMW, there was Wesleyan Service Guild, and these professional women were approached and founded this house to help these women ex-offenders because they needed a safe place to be. They'll be here Saturday at 5 o'clock on January 27th preparing a dinner. If you can't come that day, you could purchase a ticket, and we'll, uh, they're going to feed that dinner to a homeless person, and they also are going to have come and, uh, what do you call it, take out, come and pick up. You don't have to stay for the dinner. So you have every opportunity to be here and participate. The tickets will be on sale outside um, on the patio. Thank you. Wonderful, it's a, a great opportunity for us. <clears throat> Let me say a word about what the Renewal of Baptism Liturgy will be like later in the service. Following the sermon, uh, we'll come down, uh, uh, Greg and I, and we'll have a brief litany, and that's printed in your order of service. And then for uh, renewal of baptism, you will come forward as you wish. You won't, uh, you won't be led, but come on as you wish. And you come and hold your hands out like this, and Greg or I take the water, and we put it in your hand, and say, remember your baptism, and be thankful. As we know, baptism is a one-time we're not redoing our baptisms over, we're renewing our baptisms, remembering uh, the message of grace and love that uh, was infused in us at that time. If you have been not been baptized, I would find it a privilege to talk with you about the opportunity to make a time for you to be baptized. But today, if you have not been baptized, come forward and let us give you a blessing at that time. Following, uh, when after your baptism is renewed, you'll return to your seats this way, and there's a plate of tokens. Got one in my pocket here. This is a special token this year. These are a gift from Carolyn Ingram to the congregation. It is uh, a, a slice of wood with a baptism symbol on it. The wood is from the trees that were cut down last month here on the property. So it's a, a special reminder uh, to us of the ties that bind us together in this congregation uh, and also the ties that uh, bind us to God's love uh, in, in baptism. So we thank Carolyn for that gracious gift. Let us now stand and greet one another.
Our opening hymn this morning is I Sing the Almighty Power of God, number 152. <laughs> Christ's holy church. 
were incorporated into God's acts of mighty salvation and given new birth through water and the Spirit. All of this is God's gift to us, offered without price. And so to the parents, I ask on behalf of the whole church, do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, reject the evil powers of this world, and repent of your sin? Do you accept the freedom and power God gives you to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms they present themselves? And do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior, put your whole trust in His grace, and promise to serve Him as your Lord in union with the Church which Christ has opened to people of all ages, nations, and races? And will you nurture this child? in Christ's holy church, that by your teaching and example, she may be guided to accept God's grace for herself, to profess her faith openly, and to lead a Christian life. Congregation, do you as Christ's body the church reaffirm both your rejection of sin and your commitment to Christ? Will you nurture one another in the Christian child now before you in your care? With God's help, we will proclaim the good news and live according to the example of Christ. We will surround this child with a community of love and forgiveness that she may grow in the service to others. We will pray for her that she may be a true disciple who walks in the way that leads to life. Let us join together then in professing the Christian faith is contained in the Old and New Testaments. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. And do you believe in Jesus Christ? I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and will come again to judge the living and the dead. And do you believe in the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Eternal Father, when nothing existed but chaos, you swept across the dark waters and brought forth light. In the days of Noah, you saved those on the ark through water. And after the flood, you set in the clouds a rainbow. When you saw your people as slaves in Egypt, you led them to freedom through the sea. Their children you brought through the Jordan to the land which you promised. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Tell of God's mercy each day. In the fullness of time you sent Jesus, nurtured in the water of a womb. He was baptized by John and anointed by your spirit. He called his disciples to share in the baptism of his death and resurrection and to make disciples of all nations. Pour out your Holy Spirit to bless this gift of water and she who receives it, to wash away her sin and clothe her in righteousness throughout her life, that dying and being raised with Christ, she may share in, final, in his final victory. All praise to you, eternal Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns forever. Amen. What name shall be given this child? <coughs> Stella James, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Holy Spirit. <coughs> Don't put your hands on her. <coughs> Stella, the Holy Spirit work within you that being born through water and the Spirit, you may be a faithful <coughs> disciple of Jesus Christ. Um, what is your word to Stella? Is that up on the board? There you go. Stella, through baptism, you are incorporated by the Holy Spirit into God's new creation and made to share in Christ's ongoing love and going's good. 
Ez szó, hogy kérdezik. Hát, reading this morning is from Genesis chapter 1 verses 1 through 5. In the beginning when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good. And God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day.
gospel lesson from the first chapter of the Gospel of Mark. <clears throat> John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, the one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn open and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved. With you I am well pleased. Our hymn of preparation this morning is Joy to the World. You, you might think that I've, I've fallen off my liturgical rocker this morning. <laughs> we are going to finally sing a Christmas carol, and it's two weeks after uh, we've put away the trees and the lights. But I want us to sing Joy to the World this morning as a hymn that celebrates God's joy as it's expressed in these two scriptures.